So if you went back about 120 years ago, we developed a partnership between the Navy and MIT to bring together all of the pieces you need to be a good program manager, a good systems engineer, specific to the Navy, that aren't necessarily gotten anywhere else. Most of the students in the class will be going to a job where you are the person running the show from start to finish. It's nice to know that like what we learn in the classroom is applicable to our jobs like on a daily level. Really, this is the foundation of the rest of their careers. Two seven zero two is the class that we use as an umbrella to teach systems engineering, the design of a ship as a system of systems, and how to design it all together so it makes sense in the end. And on the side, we have them do a little uh, remote control boat project to actually design and build a ship start to finish. This class just took us through taking requirements from some customer and designing to those requirements. It's kind of taking you through that whole life cycle of the ship. It was a good experience of like bringing principles and then actually making it hands-on to a physical product. We gave them requirements in anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface ship warfare, and also anti-land attack. We really want them to see how the decisions they make early and the mistakes that they make affect them later and how they have to recover and, and what the ramifications are. Those lessons are very relatable to projects of any size and so we try to make sure we draw those out. One thing you'll learn in the Navy, things never go as planned. There's little things that you don't expect and they happen. They're bound to happen. So on game day, we didn't do as well as I thought we would. I was like, that's so simple. We just dropped the balls on top of a stationary target. Of course we're going to hit it. But we were a little bit off. We had a couple near misses. It's interesting of how like depth perception works. When you think you're over the target, you're actually like a little bit offset. I thought it performed really well. The only downside was in a heavier sea state, our propulsion, we had paddle wheels on it, were powerful enough to drive the boat forward. For our team, the shaft fell off the motor, right? And when we made the motor watertight, there was no way for us to get in there and fix it on the day of the, the test, which is very detrimental because you can't move the ship with the propeller. It's always a good time. People are laughing, people are cheering each other on. Uh, people are excited when boats work very well and people are excited when boats don't work and we have to figure out how to solve the problems. I was like so proud of like just seeing the design come to life. I'm like what you, how you think it's gonna perform and all the weight and everything on there and then seeing it actually in the water, you're like, wow, we did a thing. <laughs> This is a valuable relationship, both from MIT's perspective and the Navy's perspective. It's amazing to think that our future students will be involved in the procurement of an aircraft carrier that could potentially outlive us all. Captain Lakehorn and Commander Jonar, they've done exactly the same program. They've come through MIT and they know what we're going to be doing in the future. We want our engineering duty officers to be project managers, we want them to be leaders. That broad background that you need to be able to do that is something we only get from MIT to the point where when we hear from leadership all the way up to the secretariat is that that's what they count on from the MIT program is that informed technical decision making and the ability to tackle any problem by breaking it down, coming to understand it, and making the right choice.